Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Good evening. Good to see you, everybody. Okay, Thank let's you. begin. Um, where were we? Just give me a moment. Now I'm going to share the screen with you. There it is. And uh, attendance, attendance control. So when you hear your name, please let me know. Here we go. It's uh, second class. Okay, Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Present teacher. Welcome, Carlos. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Present teacher. Welcome, Carlos. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Present teacher. Welcome, David. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present teacher. Welcome, Edith. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Present teacher. Welcome, Enrique. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Welcome, Ever. Ever Francis Alvallero. Present teacher. Welcome, Ever. Franklin de Thank la O. You. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Ever Aristides Oya Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Welcome, Ever. Iván okay. Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Present teacher. Welcome, José. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Presente, presente, teacher. Welcome, Juan Carlos. Juan Francisco Arrazaba el Calderón. Presente, teacher. Welcome, Juan Francisco. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes Viroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, María. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Present. Uh, uh, thank you, María Magdalena. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Welcome, Mauro. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present teacher. Welcome, Oscar. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Present teacher, I am here. Welcome, Santos. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Present teacher. Welcome, Saúl. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Okay, calling attendance again, Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Arles Ernesto López. 
Arles Ernesto. Sí, teacher. Buenas noches. Hello, Arles. Welcome. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Baudilio está tratando teacher. de conectarse, teacher. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, welcome, Cecia. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Presente, presente, teacher. Welcome, Erika. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Acá en el chat nos dice Arles, presente. Erika Beatriz, presente. Juan Carlos Portillo, presente. Ok, thank you. All right, everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Preintermedio, módulo uno. And that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service. This is session number two. And Teacher. Today... Yes. Eh, José Milcar Reyes. José presente. Milcar Reyes. Ya está su asistencia tomada. Thank you, José Milcar. Uh, today is July 25th, 2023. So what are we going to do? A review. Take a look. WH questions with the verb be. Remember, you say, what's your name? What is the contracted form of what is? Where's your friend? Okay. Where is your friend? Who's son he? Okay. Who is son he? So when they ask you, what's your name? A possible answer is, my name is Beth. Okay. Where is your friend? He is in class. He is in class. Whose son he? She is my classmate. What are your classmates like? They're very nice. Where are you and Luisa from? We are from Brazil. And how are your classes? They're really interesting. Now, we completed this exercise yesterday. We're not going to repeat it. Uh, who's that? Oh, that's Miss West. Uh, where is or where is she from? She's from Miami. What is her first name or what's her first name? It's Celia. Who are the two students over there? Their names are Jeremy and Karen. Where are they from? They're from Vancouver, Canada. And what are they like? They're shy, but very friendly. Okay, so we completed this exercise last time. Uh, Wilber Rafael nos dice acá presente. Welcome, Wilber. Um, and we're going to continue with this. Okay, so we're going to do this exercise. It's an extra exercise. Look at the answers. What are the questions? You have the answers now. You have to figure out the questions. For example, the first one is, my first name is Bob. So the question is, what's your first name? Okay, so you have to read the answer. And from the answer, you have to ask the question. For example, well, that's the first one. My first name's Bob, so the question is, what's your first name? And number two, the answer is, my last name's Hayes. So what's the question? If you know, please raise your hand. Let's participate. What's the question? Maria de Lourdes. What's your last name? What's your last name? That is correct. You can say, what's your last name or what is your last name? Thank you, Maria Lourdes, that is correct. Number three, the question is, that's my wife. So what is a possible question? Mm -hmm. What is a possible question? The answer is, that, that's my wife. It's, that is my wife. So what's the question? I'm going to zoom in. Cecia. Uh, sorry. Uh, who is she? 
Who is she? Okay, you can say who is she. Yo lo vamos a incluir aquí porque no está contemplado. Who is she? Okay, so you can say who is she? You can also say who is that or who is that lady? All those questions are valid. Okay, very good. Thank you, Cecia. Correct answer. Well, correct question. Uh, number four. Um, you have, uh, her name is Rosa. Okay, so what's the question? Her name is Rosa. That's the answer. What's the question? Maria de Lourdes. What's her name? What's her name? Okay. Okay. What's her name? Okay. You say, what is her name? Or you can say, what is your wife's name? That's also possible. Okay. What's her name or what is your wife's name? Thank you. That is correct. Thank you very much. Her name is Rosa. Number five. The answer is, she is from Mexico. So what's the question? She is from Mexico. What's the question right there? Maria Magdalena. Where are you from? Again, please. Where is your from? Okay, but no? okay. The the answer is she is from Mexico. So where? Where where is <laughs> is she from? Yes. Where is she from? Okay. She is from Mexico. Mm -hmm. Where is she from? She's from Mexico. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Correct. And the last one. They are my wife's parents. Okay. They are my wife's parents. Chat entry. Entry. I'm sorry. Adan Iglesias says present. Present. So Adan Iglesias. Thank you, Adan. Welcome. Okay. The last one. They are my wife's parents. So what's the question? If you know the question, please raise your hand. Uh-huh. Last one, number six. Who? The answer is they are my wife's parents. So it's, it's very easy. Just uh, two more words. Con dos palabras más se puede completar eso. Monica Ivet says present. Okay, Monica. Thank you. Welcome. Ajá, compañeros, con dos palabras completamos esa pregunta. Any ideas? María de Lourdes. Who are they? Who are they? That's correct. Who are they? Or you can say, who are those people? It's also possible. They're my wife's parents. Okay, nice. Thanks for your participation. Now, another extra exercise. Take a look. You have, they're my classmates. Now, you have to choose between the two words in parentheses. Okay? So, they're my classmates. Their names are Kate and Noriko. What about number two? You have, we're students. You have our classroom number or we classroom number is 108C. So, what's the correct, um, what's the right option here? If you know, please raise your hand and participate. Your options are our and we. Those are your options, only those. Maria Magdalena. Our teacher. Our classroom number is 108C. That's correct. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Number three, excuse me. Okay, Enrique. You or your? Number three. Yes. Excuse, excuse me, 
that is your last night again. What is your or what's your last name again? Okay, that's correct. Thank you, Enrique. Very good. Number four. That's G1. Number four. Raise your hand if you know. Your options are he and his. Adán Iglesias. Uh, that is he goes moon. He is my class. He is in my class. Okay, he is in my class. All right. Thank you, Adán. Monica Ivet, number five. And then Jose Benjamin, number six. My name is... Lisa, please call, please call me, please. That is correct. Okay, my name is Elizabeth. Please call me Liz. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, Jose Benjamin, number six. This Paul wife, her name is Jennifer. This is Paul's wife. Her name is Jennifer. Okay, great. Thank you. David Antonio, number seven. My parents are on vacation. They are in South Korea. My parents are on vacation. They are in South Korea. Okay, good. Uh, great, great. And number eight. Thank you. Uh, what about number eight? Cecia. I from Venice, Italy. It is a beautiful city. It is a beautiful city. That's correct. Very good. Thank you very much. Just give me a second. Just a moment, please. All right, next. Now the snapshot, okay? This is the next part of the content. Greetings from around the world. Okay, so take a look. Um, where will you normally see these greetings? Greetings means saludos, okay? Greetings from around the world. For example, you have a handshake. This is a handshake. Normally you will see that in the United States, in El Salvador and many other countries, okay? many countries. Now you have uh, this. This is another greeting, a bow. What's a bow? Okay. Another example is a kiss on the cheek. Okay, that's a kiss on the cheek. Another greeting is a hug. Okay, that's a hug. And another one is a pat on the back. Okay, a pat. It's difficult to show, but okay a pat on the back. Those are greetings from around the world. All right, again, they include a handshake, un apretón de manos, a bow, una reverencia, okay, a kiss on the cheek, un beso en la mejilla, a hug, un abrazo, and a pat on the back, una palmada en la espalda. Okay, so um, where would you expect to see a handshake? In the United States, it's common. In El Salvador, it's common too, okay? What about a bow? Well, would you see a bow? What country? Jose Amilcar. Jose Amilcar? In Japan? In Japan, okay, yeah, could be in Japan. Also China, okay, yeah. Japan is an example, but also China, Taiwan, and other Asian countries. Uh, Cecia, what about a kiss on the cheek? Uh, France. In France, um, okay. In France is possible. Okay, good. But also in Brazil. In France, this is common. In Brazil, this is common. In many countries. In El Salvador, this is common. Okay. Many different countries. But yeah, totally. Thank you, Cecia. What about a hug? Where is a hug common? Mm -hmm. Jose Amilcar, do you want to participate? 
No? Okay. So what about a hug? Where is a hug common? Carlos Alberto. In Mexico. In Mexico. Okay, yeah. Oops. In Mexico. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Franklin de la Oz is presente. Okay, welcome, Franklin. And the last one. What about a pat on the back, Jose Amilca? Um... Yes. Oops. <laughs> eh, eh, es que quedé con la mano levantada porque no activé el micrófono en la anterior, por mm -hmm. eso quedó activada, pero viendo las imágenes, eso como la, la anterior en otros países, eh, se da en varios países, pero yes. creería que sería, podría ser Cuba, English, por English. la apariencia de ellos. Okay, and... <laughs> maybe Cuba, maybe Cuba, it's possible. Cuba. Okay, Cuba, maybe. Mexico, it is possible. Mexico. Mexico, many countries, many countries, actually. What I have here in the book, you found Russia. Russians, apparently, they pat themselves in the back, okay? But this can happen in many countries, okay? It's a common greeting. But yeah, thank you very much. So handshakes are coming in the United States and many other countries, bows in Japan, kisses on the cheek in Brazil, France and other places in El Salvador too, a hug in Mexico, pat on the back in Russia. There are some other greetings that we can use. For example, you can use a high five, okay? What's a high five? Okay, you have that, okay? When you high five a person. You can also use a fist bump. What is a fist bump? Do you have any idea? That's another, it's common in El Salvador, very common, okay? Let me show you. Uh huh. I'm gonna show you, um, but I'm going to show you a picture only because this is, um, let's see. Image in a new tab. That's a fist bump. Okay, you see that? That's what we call a fist bump. Okay, so yeah, you can high five a person, you can give a person a fist bump too. In El Salvador, this is very common, especially um, when men greet each other, they go like, hey, how are you? And they Okay, fist bump each other. That's the idea. So some vocabulary here. Okay, so you can say, you can use a handshake. Okay, that's the first one. There's also a bow. Okay, uh, a kiss on the cheek. Kiss on the cheek. Uh, there's also a hug, a pat on the back a high five, a fist bump, all these are forms of greetings, okay? So a little vocabulary for you. Wait a second. I'm going to share this via WhatsApp. Okay, now you have it right there. So, um, Let's take a look, lesson objective 1.8. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers with the verb be are introduced. So, uh, in esta lección, los participantes escucharán una conversación entre dos personas donde preguntas y respuestas cortas con el verbo be son presentadas. So what's that? Conversation, how is it going? Okay, ¿qué tal? So how is it going? Chat entry right here. Salvador Manrique says present. Okay, welcome, Salvador. Your attendance is taken. So conversation, how's it going? I'm going to play the track. I want you to listen. And after that, I'm going to ask for volunteers to read the conversation aloud. Here we go. Yes, Salvador. Salvador Manrique. Hola, hola. Hi. Eh, buenas noches. Hi. Okay, Voy good a evening. Ah, okay, great. Okay, you're going to be David. And um, who will play Sanhi? A lady, please. 
Karen Julissa. Ok, welcome, Karen. Ok, Karen, no había tomado asistencia. Ya que aquí está, le pongo asistencia. Ya. Ok, so listen to the conversation first, and then Salvador, you will play David, and then Karen Julissa, you will play Sanji. So uh, let's listen. Here we go. Hey, David, how's it going? Hey, wait a second. Hmm, I have the wrong audio device. Okay. Me avisan si escuchan. How are you? Pretty good. Can you hear that? Yes, okay, from the beginning. I listen. Okay, from the beginning. Hey, David, how's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. All right. So, uh, Salvador and Karen, please help me read the conversation. Karen begins. Hey, David. How's it going? Fine. Thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are, are, your, are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. 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 Ke 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 chemistry. Chemistry. Uh huh. Chemistry? Are you on bed in the same class? No, we are in my class in the in the morning. Permita, me voy a quitar la manita. Okay. Uh, no, we are in my class in the morning. My class Her is class. sorry. My class is in the morning. My class is in the morning. Mm -hmm. Her class is in the afternoon. Okay. Listen, I on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. All right. Thank you very much. Um, before we read this again, uh, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation? If you have questions about the vocabulary, please raise your hand. It's a good moment to ask. No questions? Maria Magdalena, then Maria de Lourdes, then Enrique. Uh, pronunciation teacher, semester? Semester. Semester. Okay. Semester. Okay. All right. Maria de Lourdes. Con refer referente a la palabra cafetería. Ah, the pronunciation. It's cafeteria. The pronunciation is cafeteria. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Enrique Perez, what's your question? Teacher, creo que lo... Lo preguntaron por ahí, pero era esta, esta palabra que dice chemistry. Ah, chemistry. You mean the, the pronunciation or the meaning? El significado. Ah, chemistry is the study of matter. <laughs> Química. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. That's chemistry. Química. The study of matter and the change of matter. So, um, all right. Tiene María Magdalena el fondo que tiene bien, bien relajante. Se ha ido para la playa. Se ha ido, no, como que está en un río, se ve ahí. Por ahí anda. Okay. El río de Babilonia, por ahí anda. All right. El acerguate de fondo. All right, so. Uh... <laughs> okay, so San, he says, hey, David, how's it going? When you ask how's it going, it's like, how are you? Okay, the question how's it going is how are you? David says, fine, thanks. How are you? Son, he says, pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? And David says, yeah, they are. I really love chemistry. Son, he says, chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? 
David says, no, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Sunhi says, listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? And, Sun and David says, sure, let's go. So that's a conversation. How's it going? So lesson objective 1.10. Um, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes, no questions and give short answers with the verb be. Al final de esta lección, los participantes serán capaces de hacer preguntas de sí, no y responder de forma corta con el verbo be. Nada nuevo. Esto ya, ya lo hemos estudiado con anterioridad. Esto solo es un repaso. So, take a look. Grammar focus. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. Um, you have some examples here. You can say, are you free? Remember, in the question, first, you need to use the verb B. And after that, you have to use the subject. So you say, are you free? Yes, I am. Or, no, I'm not. Okay? Is David from Mexico? Is like, is he? Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. Or you can say, no, he's not. Alternatively, you can say, no, he isn't. Okay? Which one is correct? Both are correct. You can say, no, he's not. Or, no, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? That means, is it in the morning? We're talking about the class. Estamos hablando de la clase. Is Beth's class in the morning? Is it in the morning? The answer is, yes, it is. Or in negative, no, it's not. No, it isn't. Okay. Are you and Beth in the same class? Because they are two people. Are you and Beth in the same class? The answer is, yes, we are, or in negative, no, we're not, or no, we aren't. And finally, are your classes interesting? It's like asking, are they interesting? Are your classes interesting? Are they interesting? And the answer is, yes, they are, affirmative, and negative, no, they're not, or no, they aren't, okay? So that's how you do it. Let's listen to it. Grammar focus. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Okay. So what are we going to do? This is uh, the content that you will find in video 1.11. Yes, no questions and short answers with the verb E. And also knowledge check 1.12. So complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. The first one is, is Miss Gray from the United States? What is the answer? I need a volunteer. You have to give a short answer. And then you have to complete the rest of the information. What do you have? Wilbur. Uh, la letra B. Letter B. Yes, she is from Chicago. Well, you say yes, she is only because it's a short answer. Yes, she is. And after that, you have to complete the second sentence. Uh, yes, she is, period. And then? Parece mucho lo que dijo.
uh, live? Uh, no, you just have to use uh, the subject and the verb. Muy parecido a lo que me dijo. Maybe somebody can help uh, Wilbur with this one. Who can help? Okay, Maria Lourdes. She's from Chicago. She's from Chicago. Okay. Yes, she is. Period. And then she's from Chicago. Okay. Just that. All right. Thank you. Uh, what about number two? You have to give me question and answer. So... Maria de Lourdes. Is English class at 10 o'clock? Is English class at 10 o'clock? Or you can say, well, yeah, is English class at 10 o'clock? And then the answer is? Uh, no, it's uh -huh. not. No, it is not. Or no, it isn't. Which is the same. Que es lo mismo. Uh -huh. it's, it's at 11 o'clock. It's at 11 it's at 11. Okay, it is, right? It's at 11. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. What about number three? Who knows this one? Raise your hand, please. Let's participate. Participemos. Vamos. Number three. Cecia, and then Maria Magdalena, number four. Number three. Are you and Monique from France? Yes, good, good, yes. good pronunciation. Are you and Monique, right? That that's French. Are you and Monique from France? Uh huh. I speak French, teacher. Ah, really? <laughs> Mentira. <laughs> okay. Come on, come yes, on. Yes, we are. Yes, we <laughs> are. We are from Paris. No. Yes. yes, we are. We're from Paris. We're from Paris. Okay. Are you and Monique from France? Okay. Yeah. You speak French. Ooh la la. <laughs> okay. Number four. Uh, Maria Magdalena. Are Mers and Mrs. Tavares American? Así se pronuncia, bro. I guess. Are Mr. Tavares. and Mrs. Tavares American? American? No. <laughs> no, they not. Mm, the verb is no. missing. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, no. I am no. Mm -mm. They are they from they are Brasilia. They are Brazilian. Okay, they are Brazilian. Always remember that uh when you are there are countries and nationalities, okay? So you say, for example, I am from, okay, you are from, is from she is from, uh, we are from, and they are from. Also, it is from. Okay, so when you use all these, you have to mention a country. So you say, I am from uh, El Salvador, you are from Mexico, he is from Guatemala, etc., etc. But if you don't use from, you have to use a nationality. Like this, you say, I, I am, you are, he is, she is, we are, they are, and it is, okay? Um, if, if this is the case, you have to use a nationality. For example, in this case, you say, I am, I can say uh, here, take a look. You say, I am from 
El Salvador. Or I can say I am Salvadoran. Okay? You are from the United States. Or you say you are American. He is from Mexico. Or you say he is Mexican. She is from France. Or she is French. We are from Canada. Or we are Canadian. They are from Japan. Or they are Japanese. It is from China. Or it is Chinese. So that's the idea. Always remember, if you have the preposition from, then you need a country or not necessarily. You can also have a city. You can use a city. I can say I am from San Salvador, for example. Okay. Country or city. But if you don't use the preposition from, okay, then you have to mention a nationality. And that's exactly what happens here. You say, no, they aren't. They are Brazilian. Okay, they are Brazilian because that's a nationality. Okay, good. I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp. Let's see, where's WhatsApp? Right here. Okay. What time is it? 7.42. Okay. All right, now answer these questions about yourself. If you answer no, give the correct information, then ask your partners the question. For example, if they ask you, are you from the United States? Si resulta que usted es eh, estadounidense, entonces, yes, I am, pero no creo. Así que como no es, usted dice, no, I'm not. Y luego usted agrega el resto de la información correcta. I am from El Salvador, or I am Salvadoran. Okay, so what about number one? Okay, so the first one, raise your hand, please. Are you from the United States? Wilber. Espero no equivocarme, teacher. Okay. You are from the United States? Are you? Are you from the United States? Are you from the United States? Mm -hmm. No, I am not. No, I am, I am not. From, uh, no, I am not. I am from. I am from in El Salvador. Ah, careful! You are using an extra preposition there. You say I am from El Salvador. Okay. So, ah, uh -huh, you say I am from El Salvador. Only that. So you say no, I'm not. I'm from El Salvador. Thank you, Wilbur. Correct. Number two is your teacher from Canada. The other deal? No, no soy. <laughs> okay. So is your teacher from Canada? Raise your hand if you know, Cecia. No, he's not. Mm -hmm. He's from El Salvador. He's from El Salvador. Okay, good. Number three. Okay, thank you, Cecia. Is your English class in the morning? Raise your hand, please. What's the answer? Is your English class in the morning? What's the answer to this question? Wilber. Si no hay nadie más, ahí le voy, teacher. Okay. Uh, is your English class in the morning? Mm -hmm. No. No, my English is the night. Okay, but what about the short answer? Is your English class in the morning? No. My English class is uh, night. It's at night. Okay, okay, you can say that. But but if you say my English class is at night, is that will be the extra information. But I want the short answer, similar to this one. Okay, you have the short answers right here. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Lo que me está diciendo es correcto, pero eso sería como la segunda parte de la respuesta, donde me dice, 
Pero ahorita la respuesta corta es la que buscamos. Is your English class in the morning? No, no is in the morning. Still something different. Okay, let's see. Uh, Maria Magdalena. No, I am not. Mm, is your English class? Not you. Uh, your no. English class. Is no. Ah, is no. No, he's not. Not exactly. Not exactly. Cecia, let's see what Cecia says. Uh, is your English class in the morning? No, it. No, it isn't. Uh -huh. No, it isn't. Y luego, como dijo Wilber, my English class is at night. Okay, yeah. yeah. Say, no, it isn't. Okay, and my English class is at night. And the last one. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Number four. Are you and your best friend the same age? Ahí depende de usted. Are you and your best friend the same age? Maria de Lourdes? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay, that's all. Yes, we are. Okay. Si eran compañeros del colegio, es lo más probable que sí, ¿verdad? So, yes, we are. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right, we'll continue. Grammar note, contractions. Do not use contractions for short answers with yes. Now, this is very important. Take a look. If the uh, short answer is affirmative, don't use contractions. Let's go back to the previous slide. Look at this. Si ustedes se fijan, si la, si la respuesta corta es afirmativa, no se puede tractar. Say, yes, I am. That's the full form. Yes, he is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, they are. Pero nunca decimos, yes, I'm. O, yes, his. Yes, it's. Yes, we're. Yes, there. Because it's a short affirmative answer. If you have a short affirmative answer, you can't use a contraction. But if it is negative, yes, you can use a contraction. You can say, no, I'm not. This is good. You say, no, he's not, or no, he isn't. No problem. Okay, so remember, the contraction happens only in short negative answers. If you have a short affirmative answer, no. Okay, you have to use the complete form. So again, do not use contractions for short answers with yes. Are you from Argentina? You say, yes, I am. This is good. But if you say, yes, I'm, this is incorrect. Okay. Is he from Greece? Yes, he is. This is good. Okay. But if you say no, I'm sorry. If you say yes, his, that will be incorrect. Okay. Remember, don't contract short affirmative answers. Only negative answers. Yeah, no problem. But if it is short and affirmative, no. So uh, let's complete the conversation. Have Hello. I am Alex Lamb, and this is my sister, Amy. And Tina says, hi. What does Tina say? Raise your hand if you know. Cecia. Hi, I am Tina Fernandez. I am Tina Fernandez. Okay, thank you. Uh, Amy says, are you from South America, Tina? And Tina says, I need a volunteer. Hey, Maria Lourdes, then Salvador Manrique for the next one. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. And? I, I'm from Argentina. I'm from Argentina. Argentina. Where are you and your sister from, Alex? Thank you, Maria. De Lourdes, very good. And Alex says? Salvador? Uh, He, he is from tai, Taiwan. Again, please. He is Taiwan, from Taiwan. Okay. Uh, it's a conversation. So she is asking, look, where are you and your sister from? And your sister from? Uh -huh. Where are you and your sister from? I'm from Th Thailand. Uh, Taiwan, right? Two different countries. 
Ok, Así so Taiwán. Ok, Taiwan. Pero, no, pero no está tomando en cuenta a la hermana, solo usted. Uh, entonces, we, uh -huh. we are from ta Taiwán. We are from Taiwán. That's correct. Ok, we're from Taiwán. Very good. Thank you, Salvador. Tina says, are you from Taipei? Taipei is the capital city of Taiwán. Are you from Taipei? So Alex says... What does Alex say? Maria de Lourdes. Are you from Taipei? Taipei? No, hmm? we aren't. No, we, we are, aren't. Uh -huh. we, we are, are from, from Tainan. Tainan, okay, yeah. No, we aren't, we're from Tainan. Say, are you in English 101? And Tina says, uh, thank you. Okay, very good. And Tina says, what does Tina say? The last one. Estamos pensando, teacher. Ok. Karen Julissa. No, I am not. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. I'm in English 102. Ok, good. Thank you. Ok. Somebody said they wanted this in the WhatsApp group, so I'm sending it right now. There it is. Ok. Thank you. I don't know if we have time for this. Let me check. Probably I need to concentrate on the rest. Yeah, I think we're going to go over the rest. So give me a second. Um, this one right here, for power. Okay, this one. All right, lesson objective 1.13. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes-no questions and give short answers with P. Al final de esta lección, los participantes serán capaces de hacer preguntas. Y no y responder de forma corta con el verb. So, it's a reading part. Okay, so what's in a name? Okay, it's the reading section. This is 1.14, reading exercise, what's in a name? So, look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Okay, chat entry here. Okay. Um, hello, my name is. Now, let's read this. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, cuando usted piensa en sí mismo, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Unpopular is the opposite of popular, okay? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names in a recent survey. Antes de ver esto, eh, esto es información que aparece en un libro de inglés, ¿verdad? No está... Eh, respaldada científicamente, ¿verdad? Por ningún estudio ni nada. Así que si usted ve un nombre que diga, hey, este nombre me gusta a mí, lo quiero poner a mi hijo, se lo puse a mi hijo o a mi hija, y aquí dice que es un nombre malo, no se lo tome en serio, ¿verdad? Solo es un artículo, es para practicar el inglés. Ok, así que nada personal aquí. So you have boys' names. For example, George, 
average, promedio, right? Boring, aburrido. That's what they say here. Okay, de nuevo, es lo que dice el artículo, pero no refleja la realidad realmente. Jacob, creative, friendly, creativo, amistoso. Michael, good looking, guapo, right? Athletic, okay? Stanley, como que son los nombres de The Office. Okay, nerdy, serious. Okay, nerdy, right? And serious. Girls' names, Betty, old fashioned, antiquado, right? Average, promedio. Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane, plain, ordinary. Plain and ordinary are very similar. Plain is simple, ordinary, right? Plain, ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Okay? So um, this is what the article says. So why do parents give their, children's, their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the Georges and Bettys out there. So that's the text, what's in the name? Okay, you can find this text in section 1.14 of, uh, see, let me show you 1.14, that's the reading part. Okay, that's the text and there's the exercise. So it's a true and false exercise. Based on the reading, we have this. Read the article, then check the statements that are true. So what about the first one? Your name is part of your identity. What do you think? Is this true or is it false? Raise your hand, please. According to the article, Maria Magdalena. True. True. Okay, sorry. Yeah, it is true. Your name is part of your identity. Thank you. What about number two? People often feel the same way about a particular name, according to the article. They have a similar opinion. Is this true or false, according to the article? Maria Magdalena. True. It's also true. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, good. Thank you. Jose Benjamin, number three. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. False. False. Yeah, this is not false. mentioned in the article, so it is false. Thank false. you. That's correct. Thank you very much. False. Okay. Um, number four. Number four. People are often named after family members. Is this true or false? Raise your hand if you know. According to the article, de acuerdo al artículo, right? According to the article. People, okay, Saul Ernesto. It's true. It's true. Yeah, that's correct. Number four is true, okay? People are often named after family members. Thank you, Saul. And number five, opinions about names can change. Is this true or false according to the text? Opinions about names can change. Is it true or false? Saul Ernesto. It's true. It's true, yeah, that's correct. In the article, it says that opinions about names can change. Very good. Now, the last part, according to the article, which names suggest positive things and which suggest negative things? Complete the chart. You have the boys' names here and the girls' names. So which ones are positive names, according to this? Wilbert, positive names. Yes, uh, Michael. Michael is one, yes, another one. 
Uh, Jacob. Jacob, yes. Okay. Another one. Joel. George. George. Mm, probably not. Stanley. Stanley. Stanley is nerdy and serious. Probably not. Maria Magdalena. Nicole. Nicole and... Beautiful, intelligent. Mm -hmm. That's for Nicole. And another name? We have Jacob, Michael, Nicole, and another one? Because of the time, uh, we're going to cover this. So there's Jacob, Emily, that's the other one. Michael and Nicole. And the other ones are George, Betty, Stanley, and Jane. Okay. De acuerdo al artículo, ¿verdad? No necesariamente refleja la realidad. Okay, everybody. We're going to stop right here, but first I need to take the attendance for the last time. Baudilio Elenilson. Is Baudilio Elenilson here tonight with us online? I don't think so. Okay, uh, Jose Valentin Rivera. Is Jose Valentin Rivera online? Only those two. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. We finished session, section one. Tomorrow we start section number two. Okay, thank you and good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.